Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for October 21st, 2023 from Revelation chapter 14, Remaining Faithful. Yesterday, we heard about the everlasting nature of hell, how the torture would continue and that God would raise the dead and place them in this place called hell. Yesterday's devotion gave us a very gruesome picture, and it ended with the idea that as Christians, we should cling all the more to hear God's word and to receive the sacraments and to continue to trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Unfortunately, as we talk about the differences of heaven and hell, and how many people try to minimize the agony of everlasting torture of hell. But God's word does not minimize the agony of hell. Instead, John's vision reminds us as Christians, we need to remain faithful. And that is the purpose of this revelation. As John was receiving this revelation, Christians were being persecuted. They were being attacked. And so Christians received this letter with joy and anticipation of what would later come for those who would remain faithful to our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. So let's continue with the book of Revelation from Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. Here is a call for the endurance of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. John here spells it out. We need to continue to endure, to keep on trusting in our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, regardless what we see going on in the world, in our community, or even in our own lives. Verse 13, And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on, Blessed indeed, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, for their deeds follow them. Now, it's interesting. Those who have remained faithful to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as this verse reminds us, are indeed blessed. So even though the body may die, they are still blessed. And the Spirit says that they are now resting from their labors and that their deeds follow them. Whereas, as we heard previously, the wicked have the exact opposite. They are not resting from uh, the torture. Instead, they are going to be tortured for the rest of eternity because they rejected our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. If you think about it as Christians, while we're still here on earth, are we not called to remember the Sabbath rest? That is, to set aside a day, to attach ourselves to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through his word and sacrament. The Sabbath is a day of rest. So as Christians, We are experiencing that day of rest. We are experiencing a little bit of heaven here on earth. Just to remind us of what's yet to come. So as Christians, we do set aside a day and we spend it gathering around God's word and sacraments. The last line may surprise us when John writes that their deeds may follow them. We realize that the Bible teaches that we are saved by God's grace through faith and not by our own works. Our good works do not save us, but they are a fruit of the gift of faith that God has given to us. Consider the opposite, those that have rejected Jesus. That means that they have rejected the forgiveness of sins. We need to remember sin is a separator between us and God. So if you reject the removal of sin, then you're going to hang on to your sin and that sin is going to cast you from the presence of God. So no matter what you've done here on earth, if you reject sins, those sins will drag you down to the depths of hell. 
And this is the reason why, as Christians, we are encouraged to hang on to the Christian faith, to continue to believe and trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, regardless of the circumstances of our lives, regardless what we are experiencing. We need to hang on to this faith because eternity is in the balance. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.